this video we're going to review how to load Excel data into ClickView. So we've opened ClickView Personal Edition and we have some tabular data that we want to bring into ClickView. This data is in a simple tabular format. We have the categories and we also have products in this case. So actually we have two Excel files. So we can select both those files and it's a simple drag and drop procedure. You can select as many Excel files as you want, just drag them onto ClickView Desktop and we release. At this point, we're centered with a wizard, which will take us through each Excel file, show us what the data looks like, and enable us to make any transformations on the data as needed. In the top here, if we want to change the tab that we're using from Excel, we can change that here. We can also set whether the labels are embedded and actually remove headers. In our case, the data is coming in by default exactly how we want it. So we can simply click Finish. We're now looking at the next Excel file that we want to bring in. And again, it has been brought in by default the way we want it. We can click through the next file and we can enable a transformation step if that was necessary. Uh, and we can even apply where clauses and do further data manipulations. But in our case, again, we can just click finish. We now present it with the script editor window. The relevant script will load our categories table and our product table is presented and written for us. If needed, we could further edit the script from here. If we wish to bring in additional data after doing our initial drag and drop, we can use the panel down at the bottom to bring data in from, from any other data source or more Excel data. If we want more Excel data, we'll push on the table files. And then we go to the appropriate Excel file that we wanted to bring in. And we click open. And we're taken to the same wizard we saw before. And again, this particular data happens to be in the format we need it. We can click finish. And the script gets added in from there. When we're ready to load the data, First thing we'll do, we'll save, and we'll give the file a name. Push save. Then we can push reload, and ClickView's going to go out, pulls all the data into memory, and then presents the various fields we brought in. From here, we can start to build our ClickView app. We can now select a few fields that we've brought in, perhaps category and product name. We click OK, the list boxes appear in our ClickView app, and we can see how the data is already fully associated together using the ClickView in-memory associated model. If we click on menswear, we can see the products that are associated with menswear, and if we click on a particular product, we can see which category it's associated with. Mm -hmm.